Hello, this is Manny. Welcome to my tutorial for setting up the Perforce Desktop Client App and your Unreal Engine 5 project to connect to a Perforce repository. Your Perforce administrator will give you the server address, username, and password. Also be sure to install the version of Unreal Engine 5 that is compatible with your project. Let's start by going to this web address to download the Perforce client. At the download page for the P4V client, select the operating system you will use. And I recommend downloading the executable file. Go ahead and download it. After running the install file, you will come across this window. Of course, we will install the P4V client. I recommend not installing P4 Merge or P4 Admin just yet. I do recommend installing the command line client to set the P4 Ignore file that I'll show you later on. The installer may ask you to input the server's address, but I recommend skipping this step and just leave the fields blank for now. Once you have Perforce installed, you come to a window like this, where you put in the address, and it will always end in colon 1666. Put in the username that the Perforce admin gave to you. Okay, and now also create a new workspace. This is for the location where your local files will download all the files from the Perforce server. And this is where you would need your password to come in handy. Enter the password. Okay, and this is the depot that's up on the Perforce server. Um, give the workspace a name, browse to a folder that you want it to, in, to download. And the settings are okay. Now the settings are complete at this point. So let's go ahead and download the files. Here's the interface for Perforce client. Uh, this tab is your local folder. And this tab, the depot, shows the files that are up on the server. Um, so go ahead and select your parent folder. So I'll go ahead and uh, just get the latest. You know, go ahead and download all the files. Okay, and now we have all the files downloaded. Um, don't open this project in Unreal just yet. Um, select the P4 ignore file dot p4 ignore select right click and select open command window here and it will open a command window and the next command i'm going to show you is p4 ignores so let's go ahead and type that in and this will show you Oops. what Perforce is currently ignoring. Right now, Perforce is ignoring all the files we want it to ignore. But when you run this for the first time, it will only show these first two um, folders for ignoring. But to enable it for the very first time, uh, put in this command, P4 set P4 ignore equals dot P4 ignore. And it will set, um, set Perforce to use the P4 ignore file um, that we have with our Unreal Engine uh, project files. And all it really has 
is a list of the folders and files that it will ignore. This is a content of the p4ignore file. Now, dot p4ignore, and it will ignore the save, intermediate, and derived cache folders. And those are um, all the all the files that Unreal will generate after you open the project in Unreal. So when you type after making that command and setting the p4ignore file uh, to make sure that it did it correctly, type p4ignores plural ignores. And it, will show, it should show you the rest of um, the folders that you want it to ignore. Because right now, we only want files in the config and content to put up into the repository. So now, let's open this in Unreal. Here we are in Unreal. And let's first, before we connect Unreal to Perforce, let's make sure that you remember the name of the workspace that you created. This will come in handy when connecting it. So um, to connect it to Perforce down in the lower right of the interface for Unreal, there's a source control connect to source control and select Perforce and use the address that the ad admin gave you for your Perforce server. And remember that it ends in colon 1666. Put in the username for your account. And this is where the workspace will come in handy. Let's see. It may populate this, depending if you have it set up correctly. And here we have. I used this one. And accept settings. So now we have successfully connected to source control. Now that we have Unreal connected to Perforce through the source control panel, um, we can start adding in files. So for instance, if we want to um, add in a new material, I'll go ahead and make a new material for like a new gun, for instance, like, I don't know, the, the fruit gun. Um, It'll start with this question mark because it hasn't been added to um, source control just yet. Let me go ahead and edit this file. Say I want to make it yellow gun. Something like that. Um, okay, when you save the file, it will Mark it for add automatically. And then you'll know that it's marked for add when there's a red plus in the content panel. Um, and to upload the file to um, the server, select right click on the file and select source control and check it in and give it a description for fruit gun. And, and submit the file. And when you go back to the desktop, the desktop client actually, and if we go to materials, and refresh, you'll see that it added the fruit gun as an asset. And if you want to continue working on it, you could have uh, left it as continue to check out if you saw it earlier. But if you want to work on an existing asset, you need to first check it out. And it will mark it as checked out. And within the client, 
refresh this. There would be a red check next to it, meaning that it's been checked out by a team member. And you will be able to see um, who is currently working on it. Um, so you can continue to edit. Maybe I want this to be more of an orange. an orange gun, so I'll save it. And when you're done editing the file, right click it and select check in. Put in a description of what you edited. go and now it's been submitted and when you refresh this list it's now uh, checked in and no one is working on it now. As another option you can also check out the files within the Perforce client. Uh, let me demonstrate that right now. I'll check out the fruit gun material asset Check it out here within the client. And I'll go back here to Unreal, but I'll have to refresh and we'll show that it's checked out. And from here, I can do additional edits as well. I can change this to blue, make it material for a blueberry gun instead, something like that. Go ahead and change it. And conversely, I can go back to the client and submit this change after I've saved it with an Unreal. Select the file, uh, select submit, and say change to blue for berry gun. And submit it. And I'll make the update. After you have submitted all of your edits, it's best to also check the depot and confirm that, that all the files that you worked on are there and no one else is working on them. As a reminder, please be sure to check in all the files you are working on before ending your work session. When you come back to the project on another day, always be sure to select your parent folder and select get latest before you start another working session so that you can receive the latest updates that your teammates have made to the files while you're gone. So always remember to get the latest at the very beginning of a new work session. Thank you very much and good luck on your projects.